once you make your video, you're going to be able to upload it and title it and give it a description. But if you want to edit it, you're going to have to do this right now. You're going to click the edit button and you have different things that you can work with. You can change the focus of the screen. You can click on the screen and then it will pop up this main video area and you can then change the focus of the camera to a smaller area of the screen like this. I'm not going to do that but I want to also show you that you can have a style of video where it's not just a rectangle. You can turn it into an oval like that. I'm going to change it back. And you can also have it have a shadow. I am not going to do that. So once I'm done, I can finish. If I did resize it down to something like this, I could click crop and it will just keep it in this particular size. I'm going to reset that and get out of there. I can also type in the name of the recording up here and I'll call this a demo. Those are some of the things that you might want to edit out. You can also do all kinds of editing effects using the tools here and you basically use the timeline to make those edits. What I have discovered is that there is a keystroke S and E which will select the segment you want. Say for instance I want to cut this particular segment out. I would click on tools, come up to cut, and then I can press S and then I can move somewhere else and press E and then click OK and it's going to have cut that segment out. The other way they have you do that is to put your pointer somewhere, go to tools, and then when I click on cut, it wants me to drag the segment. I find the S for start and E for end very accurate, and I like to use those keystrokes. And I'm going to click cancel here since I already did a cut. Now that content is in the memory of the computer, so if I move somewhere else and put the pointer and come up to tools and then go to insert and paste recording and click OK, it's going to have snip that one piece from down here and put it here. Other things that you can do is you can click on tools and put an overlay in such as an arrow or a highlight or add text or possibly a blur or even an image. Another thing that you can do is you can put your pointer somewhere and you can go to the tools and insert a new recording. You can start recording using the tool again or you can add a video file. So if you click on video file you can go and find a file to insert into your video. Now once you finish the editing the only way you can actually go back and edit something is to pull in some existing recording into a new recording and therefore put edits on that once you've inserted it into your timeline. So that's useful to know. Another thing that you can do is you can change the narration. You can add a, a narration over top of the video audio that you already have and that's useful when you're making edits. Other things that you can do is change the speed and when you change the speed of the video, say you're showing a function that you repetitively do, you might want to speed it up. Or if you want for someone to focus on the detail, you might slow it down. But that eliminates the audio for that and that's where you might want to use narration as well. If you have inserted a video in, you can add a transition between the uh, content by coming up here to tools and then selecting transition and then you have 34 different types of transitions that you can use. And so that's the basics of your editing tool and when you finish all your edits you're going to click done and then it's going to take you back to where you type in the title and uh, you can write a description here of what the what your video is about and this is a demo for recording and so I'm going to click upload and that's all I want to show you in this introduction